Okay, for the next one, we need to click any file for new registration. Here you can see that we have a dot file, and this is a new registration register. Now, what we need to do is you go to main. Now we can see that we have a something like this class. You copy and then import material, and now we have a something like this close and this is you need to change to new register and now you can see that we have a new register and here you paste and here also you need to replace and replace here and also replace here and for the next one is we need to create a new written scaffold okay and a semicolon we have to add application bar we have a title we have a tag click a new account something like this and now we have a body we have a container container something like this and now we have a um, child we have a column okay for the first one we need to click a text form field and go back to main dot that we are looking for this item text form field and go to here this one is for the first one text form field we has an we have a name we have a txt name we have a valid name okay for preview icon we need to remove okay that's all and go to here go on the top area we need to make a declaration and for the second one is a validation create a method go back to main and here you can see that we have something like this copy here and now go to here and you can see that this is a value changed to name and this also changed to name and enter name enter your name and for the second one is the same step here change to email and here change to email and now this is a validate email okay so this is that man that email go to here comma email and this one also same Paste, sorry you can see that we see validate email create method and now we have a string email and the same step go to here we have a something like this enter change to email enter your email for the next one is a password this is a password this is a password and this is also a password now go to here make sure you copy first and go to here comma and something like this and here you can see that click method and we have a password here and here copy okay and the, and here change to password and here enter your password okay now we have a something like this and now we have a the next one is road and we need to click a sorry we need to click a drop down button from field something like this and here you can see that we have a decoration input decoration label text we have something like this we have a role either user or admin and value we have a tx tag role so we need to click this variable first 
okay and put to here he is not empty dx0 go to now item we have uh, something like this we have a string and now inside here we have a uh, user and okay, okay. so we have uh, something like this and you can see that dot map and here change to sorry this is a map dot map and here you can see that we have uh, we have a drop down button from sorry drop down menu item down menu item and we have a string we have a string here and inside this we have a, sorry we have a string value value Return, sorry, drop down. Wait. I think we are looking for this one, is a quite difficult to remember. We go to here, we need to find something like which we go for the drop down button from field, and here we have an uh, example. Mm sorry this is uh, maybe for the second example oh, this one is acquired mm, wait wait a minute we need to find out any example of drop down button from fail and here you can see that this is uh, something no sorry and uh, maybe here i have uh, something Drop down. We are looking for drop down. Yeah. Yep, this is a drop down. Okay, you can go to here, and then here we have uh, something like this a drop down. But this is a quite. This is a quite. Um, okay, so this one is we need to remove first. This one also you need to remove okay uh, yeah this is a label tag we are looking for role and this is a user uh, this is a admin okay for this one we need to remove and change okay so this is a text role now txt role dot is not empty txt role equal to no sorry no okay so for the next one is txt role equal to value dot to string something like this sorry okay so this is a this is a simple step we can see that we have still have an error here so okay so this is a simple we have a uh, name, we have email, we have password and we have a role and now you go to the new register sorry, we go to main and here you need to see that we, we call this import, sorry and uh, here go to create new account and here you need to write a simple code so, navigator 
navigator dot a uh, push sorry push okay here we have a uh, contacts and here we have a uh, material material page root and we have the builder and here builder contacts and here new register yep. okay something like this you can see that this is a new register so go to import new register so now you can see this is now press execute to see either your new registration is working or not you can see here this is we have uh, something like this create a new account now you can see this is a problem because of uh, no problem about this go back to here and this is uh, maybe something like this and now you can see what happens okay so this is a still have a problem because of um, go back to this item we have a level that we have a string uh, oh, sorry this is item sorry um, we need to remove this one to here and this is what we call as a value and value sorry now you can see what happens create new account now you have a role you have a user something like this okay 